Flames fall in with energy bites after Oklahoma City's 2-0 victory against league-leading Real Monarchs. You couldn't tell they were the league leaders tonight. The energy controlled the pace from the start, controlled the match, controlled the tempo. Uh, Monarchs had a little bit more possession, but that played in Jimmy Nielsen's strategy. The energy coach wanted to play the counterattack. He wanted to keep them in places that, that didn't really threaten the match or th threaten on the pitch. And they did that. They did that against Reno as well. And uh, you're starting to see the energy play into their strengths, which is letting their opponents play into them and not letting them hit the counterattack and get them in, in the spaces that they're comfortable with. So far at the beginning of the year, opposition was getting into spaces that really strained the back line. And in the past couple matches, Energy haven't allowed that, and that's a good sign to see. Sam Fink's return to the lineup has extremely helped the back line stay stable. We've seen Kyle Hyland move up to a midfield role. He is an extreme threat from that. He has a great crossing pass that can threaten, and it's good to get him off the back line. And Anthony Wallace, once again, central defensive midfielder, excelling in that role, and that's just a trickle-down effect, and you see the team playing with confidence. Richard Dixon, I wasn't able to write about him in uh, the match report, but he had a fantastic match as well from his right back spot. The star of the show, though, Alex Dixon, two goals, subbed out in the 73rd minute, might have gotten a third one. And, but he is finally hitting form again. Three goals this year against the Monarchs in two matches. If this is a potential playoff matchup, Alex Dixon is going to be key for the energy to pull the upset. Uh, even though you can't, can you really call it upset if the energy have outplayed the Monarchs for most of those two games? Uh, the first game was about half and half, but at the same time, the energy are looking like the team we thought they would be. They are looking like a difficult out in the playoffs, unless they get swept Park. That's another story for another time, but San Antonio does not want to play the energy right now. Uh, Real Monarchs do not want to play the energy right now, and Reno does not want to play the energy right now. So it's interesting to see the energy finally get confidence moving forward. And we will see next week at Tulsa. Tulsa, the last team to beat the Energy on July 8th. Let's see if the Energy can take one back against their rivals. We'll see you then. Team confidence beating the best team in the USL as that. Well, that's what we've spoken about since uh, day one. If uh, we bring our best, we can beat anyone. And, and we proved that today. And I not only thought we would play well today, it was a really, really well-deserved victory. Uh, maybe Salt Lake uh, had the ball a lot. But we had them where we wanted them. How were you able to control the match uh, to that standard you had? Uh, we give them areas on the field where we allow them to play, and there's areas on the field where we don't want them to play. And the guys did exceptionally well in, in, in those situations today on, on the field. It takes a lot of work, and, 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 and uh, from the first second day, they, they just battle extremely hard. And, and, when you play like we do, it takes a lot out of the guys. And they, 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 they gotta believe in each other, they gotta believe in the system, and they gotta believe that we'll get the chances. For them. Sometimes it looks like we're letting the opponent dictate a little bit too much, but that's kind of the plan, what we wanted to accomplish today. Uh, because if we just went after Salt Lake from, from the beginning, they're a very, very good team. That's the reason why they're number one in, in the league. Two top four wins in four days. Uh, it seems like this team, you're finally getting the results that you, you've been really seeking all year. We are, and, and we're seeing a lot of good consistency. Since we tied up the game in, in San Antonio, we, we had a little momentum going and, and things going our way. Uh, that's a combination of uh, extremely hard work and a big belief.